Nusra is a global investment fund and we believe that we are one of the most prominent and active investors in space technology. Newsphere is the primary investor in Firefly Aerospace. To date, we've invested a little over $95 million in Firefly. Through its various space investments, Newsphere saw a strong market need for a small and medium launch provider. Having looked broadly at the market, we determined that Firefly Aerospace had the right team, the right technology, and fundamentally the right payload class to deliver on the market needs. So, I mean, if you see on our logo type called Newsphere, right? Newsphere actually been invented by Vernadsky, it's Ukrainian scientist who lived 120 years ago in the Ukraine, who believes that it's like geosphere, biosphere, so it's like different spheres around the Earth. And the top one is Newsphere. No, nous or N-O-U-S, or N-O-O-S, depending on Latin or Greek language, it means knowledge. So it's uh, knowledge about basically a knowledge as an envelope exists around the earth. That's how we all get connected, that's how, how passions get together, how brains get together around to solve out the problem of the earth. So we're still in the development phase at Firefly. Um, we uh, remain on track to launch in February 2020. Um, and so the majority of our technical progresses have been leading and building up to this. We've completed full qualification of our upper stage and beginning within the next couple of weeks, we're going to be working on full qualification for our first stage. From a business perspective, we're incredibly proud of all the partners and customers who've elected to, to fly with Firefly. Firefly is not just a launch company, we actually operate spacecraft as well. And so, for example, we're looking forward to partnering with NASA in its return to the moon in as early as 2021. Firefly is a new space company, and what that means is we're trying to dramatically lower the cost of entry to space. Uh, we are focusing on the small satellite industry, so we're trying to provide a solution for small to medium launch. We've been in, working on this for about the last five years, and we're just about to launch in the next six months, and we'll begin regular service in 2020 for both commercial and government customers. At Firefly, we're developing a new space company to build and operate a new launch vehicle to dominate the small to medium launch class market, as well as in-space capabilities uh, for uh, small to medium uh, lunar landers and orbital transfer vehicles. To get to space, you really have to develop not only the technical capabilities, but an amazing team to integrate together in a cohesive way to build the launch vehicle, uh, the launch site, the test site, uh, do all the technical regulations, and really build an operational flow. At Firefly, we really want to come out of the gate uh, ready to launch on a steady cadence, uh, building a successful business right from the start. 90% of the Alpha rocket is made out of carbon fiber. There are a lot of different materials we could have chosen to build the airframe out of, but to us, composites seemed like the obvious choice. Carbon fiber has the highest strength to weight ratio, and so when comparing and looking at metallics, yes, they are really strong in three different directions, but we don't need strength in all directions. So laying up the carbon fiber for us means that we can put extra strength where we need it, and then we don't have to lay up flies in places where we don't need that strength. Carbon composites lend themselves incredibly well to robotic manufacturing. Once we're beyond the development stage for Alpha, we'll migrate nearly all our composite manufacturing to auto fiber placement. AFP will enable Firefly to manufacture an entire Alpha airframe start to finish in as few as nine days. As part of Firefly's five-year plan to expand into spacecraft, there's an opportunity called NASA CLIPS, which is NASA Commercial Lunar Payload Services. And Firefly intends to field a small lunar lander to take cargo to the moon for NASA. Now, we're not starting from scratch. Fortunately, we have a partner in IAI, which is an Israeli company that has demonstrated a lander called Genesis. Firefly is taking that lander and improving it and putting American-built components into it as a stepping stone for us to get into building spacecraft. The lunar lander is, is a, a great addition to Firefly. We, are, we started off as a launch vehicle company and the lunar lander really expands our scope and leverages what we do well, but also aligns us with a teammate that's already done this before. So we're the, we're the one competitor out there that is, uh, is teamed with a company that has gotten all the way to lunar orbit. And so we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna build it here in the US. Firefly is a new space company, which means we're trying to change the paradigm. It also means we're trying to draw more people into the industry and into space access. 
New Sphere has a mission that's very parallel to Firefly's mission. They're our primary investor, and in the future, we think that not only building hardware will be a collaboration between us, but also education and STEM will be something that we'll focus on with NewSphere. I think that most humans have a natural desire to understand the things that they can see around them. Um, you know, and for a lot of us, it's looking up into space, and the way to understand that is for us to get there. So it's really exciting to be working at a company that builds launch vehicles and in-space services because I get to an opportunity to see the power and the ingenuity that goes into a system built by man that can lift off into outer space. In the near term, the most fundamental challenge that I'm looking forward to overcoming is getting to space. We're on track to be flying in Q1 next year, and I look forward to that day when we're all standing at Vandenberg watching Alpha fly to, uh, to space. Beyond that, an important transitional uh, element for Firefly next year is the shift from development stage to a rinse and repeat manufacturing phase. And so we're looking to fly five missions in total next year and scaling up to at least 10 missions in 2021. And that is gonna require a different set of skills um, and, and a real maturing of the company. And that is the, the challenge that we're looking forward to making.